Welcome to Cape Town, South Africa, a city where natural beauty, rich history, and modern vibrance come together. In today's video, we'll take you through the top places you must visit when in Cape Town. Whether you're a nature lover, history buff, or simply seeking adventure, there's something here for everyone. 15 Best Places in Cape Town, South Africa So let's counting at number 15 Camps Bay. Camps Bay Beach is one of the most popular and beautiful beaches in Cape Town. The beach is characterized by its wide, white sandy shore and crystal clear turquoise waters. It's ideal for sunbathing, beach sports, or simply lounging with a book. Although the water can be quite cold due to the Atlantic currents, it's refreshing for those willing to take a quick dip. 14 Chapman's Peak Dot Chapman's Peak is located on the western side of the Cape Peninsula, between the coastal towns of Hout Bay and Newadhook. It forms part of the Table Mountain National Park and is about a 30-minute drive from Cape Town's city centre. The road, known as Chapman's Peak Drive, is a marvel of engineering and one of the most scenic routes in the world. Toll Road It's important to note that Chapman's Peak Drive is a toll road, with fees applied for maintenance and safety improvements. However, the small cost is well worth the stunning experience. 13. Stellenbosch Wine Route The best time to visit the Stellenbosch Wine Route is during the spring and summer months, September to April, when the weather is warm and the vineyards are lush and green. The harvest season, February to April, is particularly special, as it's a bustling time for wineries and a great opportunity to see the winemaking process in action. The Stellenbosch Wine Route is not just about wine, it's also about the beautiful scenery. The region boasts rolling vineyards, majestic mountains, such as the Simonsburg, Jonkerschuk, and Helderberg Ranges, and charming Cape Dutch architecture. Visitors can enjoy panoramic views while tasting wines or enjoying meals at estate restaurants. 12. Musenberg Beach Musenberg Beach is situated about 25 kilometers, 15 miles, from Cape Town's city center, making it a convenient getaway for city dwellers and visitors. The beach forms part of False Bay, known for its warmer waters compared to the Atlantic seaboard, making it one of the more comfortable swimming spots in the area. Musenberg is famously known as the birthplace of surfing in South Africa. With gentle, consistent waves and shallow waters, it's one of the best beaches for beginner surfers. Several surf schools operate along the beachfront, offering lessons and board rentals, making it an ideal spot for those wanting to learn how to surf. The surf breaks are often forgiven. 11. Lion's Herd Lion's Head, located in Cape Town, South Africa, is one of the city's most iconic natural landmarks. Towering at 669 meters, 2,195 feet, above sea level, Lion's Head offers breathtaking panoramic views of Cape Town, the Atlantic Ocean, and Table Mountain. It is a popular destination for hikers, paragliders, and nature enthusiasts, known for its relatively easy hiking trail and incredible sunrise and sunset views. Lion's Head forms part of the Table Mountain National Park and is situated between Table Mountain and Signal Hill. The peak gets its name be 10 Sea Point. Sea Point lies just a few kilometers from Cape Town's city center and is nestled between the upscale neighborhoods of Green Point and Bantry Bay. It boasts a long stretch of coastline, with the Sea Point promenade running parallel to the ocean. The suburb is characterized by a mix of luxury high-rise apartment buildings, hotels, and a vibrant local community, making it one of the most densely populated areas in Cape Town. Sea Point is known for its wide variety of restaurants, bars, and cafes, offering everything from casual dining to fine dining experiences. The area has a cosmopolitan, nine Hermanus, Hermanus, a coastal town located about 120 kilometers, 75 miles, southeast of Cape Town, South Africa, is world-renowned for being one of the best places in the world to experience land-based whale watching. Nestled between the majestic mountains and the rugged coastline of the Walker Bay, Hermanus offers visitors stunning natural beauty, outdoor adventures, and a charming town atmosphere. 8. West Coast National Park the West Coast National Park, located just over an hour's drive north of Cape Town, South Africa, is a stunning natural reserve known for its breathtaking landscapes, abundant wildlife, and vibrant spring wildflower displays. Stretching along the Atlantic coastline, the park offers visitors an opportunity to explore its diverse ecosystems, including wetlands, salt marshes, and finbos covered hills. In addition to its bird life, the West Coast National Park is home to a variety of mammals. Visitors may spot eland, zebra, red hartebeest, bontebok, ostriches, and springbok. The Postberg area, in particular, is 7 Cape Point. 
Cape Point, located at the southern tip of the Cape Peninsula in Cape Town, South Africa, is one of the most iconic landmarks in the country. Part of the larger Table Mountain National Park, Cape Point is renowned for its dramatic cliffs, stunning ocean views, rich biodiversity, and historical significance. It is often mistaken for the southernmost point of Africa, which is actually Cape Agulhas, but Cape Point is where the Atlantic and Indian Oceans are said to meet in popular belief. Cape Point lies about 60 kilometers, 37 miles, southwest of central Cape Town, within the Cape of Good Hope section of the National Park. The area is celebrated for its rugged scenery, with steep cliffs plunging into the ocean. 6. Clarence Drive Clarence Drive is a scenic coastal road in South Africa that stretches between the towns of Gordons Bay and Kleinmond, offering one of the most breathtaking drives in the Western Cape. The route, officially known as a 44, hugs the coastline along the False Bay and passes through parts of the Kogelberg Biosphere Reserve, making it a must-see for visitors looking to explore the natural beauty of the Cape Peninsula and its surrounding areas. Clarence Drive is approximately 21 kilometers, 13 miles, long and begins at the seaside town of Gordons Bay, about a 45-minute drive from Cape Town. It winds its way along the rugged Hottentots Holland Mountain Range and the Kogelberg coastline, ending in Ruiels and continuing through to Kleinmund. The road offers stunning ocean. 5. Bow Carp Bow Carp is one of Cape Town's most vibrant and historically significant neighborhoods, renowned for its brightly colored houses, steep cobblestone streets, and rich cultural heritage. Located at the foot of Signal Hill, just a short distance from the city center, Bocarp offers a unique blend of Cape Malay history, architecture, and culture, making it a must-visit for anyone exploring Cape Town. The Bocarp is closely associated with the Cape Malay community, descendants of enslaved people and political exiles brought to the Cape by the Dutch from regions like Indonesia, Malaysia, and other parts of Southeast Asia during the 17th and 18th centuries. These people were brought to work in the Dutch East India Company's colony in Cape Town, and they eventually formed it for Robben Island. Robben Island is one of South Africa's most historically significant sites, known worldwide for its role as a prison during the apartheid era. Located about 7 kilometers, 4.3 miles, off the coast of Cape Town, the island is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a symbol of the triumph of the human spirit against oppression. It is most famous as the place where Nelson Mandela was imprisoned for 18 of his 27 years of incarceration. 3. Clifton Beach Clifton Beach is one of Cape Town's most famous and glamorous beach destinations, known for its stunning natural beauty, pristine white sands, and crystal clear waters. Located along the Atlantic seaboard, just a short drive from Camps Bay and Sea Point, Clifton Beach is actually a collection of four small beaches, each separated by large granite boulders that provide a sense of privacy and shelter from the wind. Clifton Beach offers some of the most breathtaking views in Cape Town. The beaches are backed by luxurious mansions that cling to the cliffs, while the Twelve Apostles Mountain Range and Lions Head provide a dramatic backdrop. The granite boulders that separate the beaches not only create a sense of privacy but also protect against Cape Town's notorious southeasterly wind. 2. VNA Waterfront The VNA Waterfront, Victoria, and Alfred Waterfront, in Cape Town, South Africa, is one of the city's most iconic and popular attractions. Located on the edge of the Table Bay Harbour, this vibrant area combines a working harbour, historical landmarks, world-class shopping, and entertainment venues, all set against the stunning backdrop of Table Mountain. It's a hub for tourists and locals alike, offering a wide array of activities, from dining and shopping to cultural experiences and boat tours. The V&A waterfront is named after Queen Victoria and her second son, Prince Alfred, who started the first harbour project in 1860 when he tipped the first load of stone to begin construction on Cape Town's breakwater. The area developed into a thriving port that served as a key stopover for ships travelling to the east and Europe, and over time, it One Table Mountain Table Mountain is one of the most iconic landmarks in Cape Town and South Africa, renowned for its flat-topped silhouette that dominates the skyline of the city. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the new seven wonders of nature, Table Mountain is a symbol of natural beauty and offers visitors incredible views, diverse ecosystems, and a wide range of outdoor activities. Height, Table Mountain stands at 1,085 meters, 3,558 feet, above sea level. Its flat summit, stretching about 3 kilometers, 1.9 miles, gives the mountain its distinct table-like appearance. The flat top of the mountain is what sets it apart. 
On clear days, you can enjoy 360-degree views of Cape Town, Table Bay, Robben Island, the Atlantic Ocean, and the surrounding peaks of the Cape Peninsula. One of the most famous natural phenomena associated with Table Mountain is the tablecloth, a layer of clouds that often rolls over the summit. This occurs when moist air from the ocean is lifted over the mountain, cools, and condenses into clouds. Legend has it that the tablecloth is caused by a smoking contest between a Dutch pirate, Van Hunks, and the devil, resulting in the cloud that frequently blankets the mountain. Whether you're scaling Table Mountain, exploring Cape Town's rich history, or simply soaking up the sun on the beach, this city has it all. We hope you enjoyed our list of the top places to visit in Cape Town. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel inspiration. Subscribe now for more travel adventures. Don't forget to comment and like.